If you're new to retirement, new to the Philippines, or perhaps both, you're most likely wondering what is retiring in a beautiful country like the Philippines actually like? And is it a good idea? Well, if you ask any retiree who's living in the Philippines, they will most likely tell you their own personal experience. However, the Philippines offers many different experiences depending on the location and lifestyle. The thing is, I really want to share with you what it is like to retire in the Philippines from the community and not just my own personal experience. Therefore, I've gathered some unique feedback and I'm going to be sharing with you what the local community and retirees are saying about the Philippines. The Philippines is the new Thailand. For some retirees, Thailand has become very challenging for several different reasons. However, the Philippines makes life much easier. In addition, due to its ties with Western culture, specifically America, life in the Philippines is easily adjustable for Western citizens. The women are perfect. Another comment made was that the locals are near perfect. This actually came from several retirees, however their wording was slightly different to this, but essentially they stated that the phenomenal beauty of the locals was most definitely a benefit of retiring in the Philippines. In fact, over the years the Philippines is becoming more and more well known to the wider community for its beautiful locals and certain dating businesses have boomed in recent years. Some streets and neighbourhoods can be underdeveloped and dirty. There are good and bad sides of retirement in the Philippines and one retiree mentioned the state of some neighbourhoods. Unfortunately, this is a big problem that some cities in the Philippines face, but this will depend on the city and the neighbourhood. For example, Makati City in Manila is known to be a very clean city, but certain cities in other parts of Manila have been known to be the opposite. Everybody thinks I'm a millionaire. This is a comment that I've picked up several times throughout the years speaking to the retiree community. Essentially, this is a belief that some Filipinos think that all foreigners are rich. Of course, this is not true, but considering the average wage is only a few hundred dollars a month, I understand why some may have this perception. The retirees who mentioned this didn't seem to mind this at all. In fact, I got the impression that some even enjoyed the feeling of being seen as rich. Nevertheless, you may be offered a higher price or the largest service due to this perception. I can go anywhere and live very, very well. So this is a piece of feedback that I received recently despite the current pandemic times. In the Philippines, it's well known that accessibility is affordable and straightforward. There are several domestic routes available through ferry or plane. Due to the low cost of living in the Philippines, retirees have the opportunity to live just about anywhere and still have enough money left over each month, which is most definitely a significant advantage in retirement. My own opinion about retirement in the Philippines is that it's perhaps one of the best decisions you will ever make. Now this is a bold statement and this may not be true for 100% of my audience but 99% of retirees who are thinking about retiring in the Philippines absolutely should. Of course I may seem biased as this channel is dedicated to help you retire and move to the Philippines but I focus on these areas because the Philippines is one of the leading countries in the world for retirement. Of course it has its pros and cons and let's be honest honest, no country is perfect. However, there are many advantages for living in the Philippines as a retiree. I try to narrow this process down to figure out why. Why the Philippines is one of the best retirement countries in the world. And I believe it is because of the available opportunities and options. You can move to a brand new island effortlessly and cheaply which is a fantastic advantage in today's modern world. 